Welcome everybody, my name is Mike McWhorter and today I'm going to show you how to create an Astro Lab. A one, two, three, four. I actually don't know if that's what it's called, but it's just like a time lapse of the stars. Astro means meaning stars. I just thought that's what it meant. First things first, what you need to create a great astro lapse, you need a wide lens, tripod, time lapse software and or hardware, full batteries, and you need to be far away from any populated areas. As for me, I had neither time lapse software nor hardware. I literally just push the button every 20 seconds, then you can still do it. So once you've gotten to your astrolapse area, uh, set up your tripod and go ahead and lock off that shot and you do not move the camera. I repeat, do not move the camera. Next thing you wanna do is open up your aperture all the way, that's what I would say. Set your ISO to an appropriate, what's the word? measure. Most people say around 3200. I say go as low as you can go. Astrolapse require a long exposure shot. So what that means is you're going to set your shutter speed to about 15 to 30 seconds. Once you have everything locked off, the next thing you want to do is set your fixed focus. So set it to fixed focus so that it is always on the stars because you want to shoot for the stars, literally. Next thing you want to do is just shoot. Now, depending on your frame rate when you export the actual time lapse, that determines how many shots that you need to get. So if you're shooting in 25 frames per second, you'll need 100 photos to get you about four seconds of footage. If you had your shutter speed set at about 15 seconds, then that means that's gonna be about four pictures a minute. So that's about 20 minutes for 100 photos. So if you want a longer time lapse, then you're gonna need some patience to go with that. So here's some of the astro lapses that I've gotten over time, and some of them I like, some of them I don't really like, but I think they're pretty cool. Those were pretty cool, weren't they? So with these astro lapses, they do take a lot of patience, but I would say they are well worth it if you get a great shot in the end. I really enjoy them. I even enjoy the time it takes to get them. Well, I hope you liked them, and I hope this video helped. I hope all the information was great. And I'll see you guys next time on this vlog. Thank you.